Hi, I'm Zandi Whitman from practicaleducator.com and I am a contributor to Tampa Bay Parenting Magazine and I'm here today to talk to you about a simple experiment you can do with elementary age kids to introduce science in your home and it's really fun. So what they're going to do is use popsicle sticks, mine are plastic, the wooden ones work fine. Um, you can see the size of mine but smaller or larger works. Uh, rubber bands, a water bottle cap and glue. So mine is this high performance repair glue from Scotch because I needed it for another project but you can also use hot glue or even just regular glue, not a glue stick, it needs to be liquid glue. Um, that's it, that's all you need. So here's the finished product and I would shoot this one across the room but oop, I just pull, I just actually just pulled my, my lid off. Um, I would shoot this one across the room but then I won't have my puff ball to show you. So the first step in making the project is you're going to take two popsicle sticks and you're going to take a rubber band and just a little ways up from the end, maybe half an inch or less, you're just going to band the two popsicle sticks together. And you can let your child do this. It does not have to be perfect at all. The popsicle sticks are lined up perfectly or if it's not tight enough, it really doesn't matter. And then the next thing that you're gonna do is you're going to let them choose the amount of popsicle sticks they want to use um, to design their catapult. And you can kinda let them try things out first. So obviously they're gonna want it to shoot pretty far. The more popsicle sticks they put in here, um, the farther they'll be able to shoot the, the um, puff ball. So you can remind them of that and then just kind of see where they go with it. I'm just gonna choose one, two, three, four, five, six, cause that's what I grabbed. But any number will work. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take rubber bands and you're just gonna band the ends together. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just quickly band them together. Construct your catapult. Okay. You're going to open the original popsicle stick structure and you're just gonna slide those in there. After you slide them in there, you're gonna take another rubber band and crisscross it. Whoa! <laughs> Whoops! And if you shoot a rubber band, it's fine. You probably will, or your child probably will. Uh, gonna band it together and then I'm just gonna steal one from over here on my example. Band it together on the other side. And these are just varying size rubber bands that I happen to already have in my house. Okay, so I'm gonna kinda scoot this down toward the base just so I can really launch here. I'm gonna take the glue and I'm going to glue my water bottle cap right on here. Okay, and while that's drying, you can talk with your child about, hey, what do you think is gonna make the ball shoot farther or not? Can you move this centerpiece back or forward? Should you pull this all the way to the floor or all the way to your surface or just a little bit? So let them kind of experiment and don't worry about the exact science behind it because the whole point of this is to introduce your kids to having fun with STEM and science at home so that they'll be more interested in STEM careers and just to have that reinforcement at home, not to be strict um, about the math behind everything. If they would like to look it up and learn the math behind it, um, I would highly encourage that. If they don't, don't worry about it. So we're just gonna pretend like my glue is dry and I'll show you kinda I apologize now if my top flies off towards you. As you can see, it'll launch. And once this is, um, is dried down, it will launch much uh, farther and they can launch over and over. And then encourage them to try to put different um, things in here. It doesn't have to just be a puff ball. Anything with more weight will probably go farther to them or more mass. So you can just talk to them about trying out shooting different things as long as they're not shooting it at one another. Or you can make a target on the wall and see if they can launch and hit it. That's really fun too. We've done that in our home a couple times. Uh, we made the mistake of putting it on the French door though with the glass, so don't do that. It wasn't, wasn't a great idea. We hope that you enjoy your catapult and that you and your kids have a great time with science this summer.